Hi guys, it's Kirsten from The Beauty Blotter. Welcome to my channel. Today I just wanna share with you the six brushes that you really need to do your entire face. Um, so you can go out, there will be a printable on my website, so you, will, you can go out and you can um, buy those brushes and you will have everything you need to do an entire face of makeup. When you go to the makeup counter quite often, they will obviously wanna upsell you, so they wanna sell you you know, a separate angled blush brush or whatever it is. So with this guide, you can go and shop with confidence and these are the only six brushes you will ever, ever need to do your makeup. The other thing I wanna quickly mention is I don't talk about specific brands. I will mention a few favorites of mine. Um, I mean, I've been doing this for 20 years, so I obviously have a lot of brushes. I have favorites. But my philosophy with brushes is always buy the best that you can afford. So if you're starting out and you don't have any brushes, um, I will recommend a set for you that's pretty inexpensive that you can get a tar that you can get at Target, and it gives you just a lot of bang for your buck. So is it the best brush set ever? No, but it's comprehensive and it's affordable, so you have a good starting point. Um, and then as you go along, if you find that you really like wearing blush, then maybe down the road when this uh, blush a brush starts shedding and you you know you need a new one then you can go out and maybe spend a little more on a good blush brush so the guide that I'm giving you is not brand specific but again one of the things I tell people to invest in is brushes so buy the best you can afford all right so let's get started the first thing you need is a good blush brush and um, again, like I said earlier, people will try to sell you an angled brush for highlighting and a bigger fluffier brush for powder and a different brush for bronzer. You need one brush. Um, I'm going to share two with you today. This one is the Laura Mercier blush brush, which I like a lot. And you can, you know, apply your blush, you can apply your bronzer, you can apply powder with it, you can get under your eye. So this is a really good universal blush brush. People have asked me on Instagram, I put out a little survey a while back, and I said, well, what do you want to know about brushes? And a lot of people asked me what my personal favorite blush brush was, and it is the NARS Bookie Brush. It is an investment, it's a $50 brush, but I love it. It just lays color on beautifully, um, it, it just blends seamlessly, and it's definitely an investment, but if you take good care of your brushes, you will have them forever. So make sure you take care of them and clean them, and that's a whole nother tutorial, but make sure you take good care of them. But this is my favorite blush brush. So again, you can apply bronzer with it, you can apply blush, you can apply powder. There's really no need to buy separate brushes. So one good blush brush. The one thing I wanna mention is make sure it's not too big, and fluffy. A lot of people like to buy those big fluffy brushes. It's really hard to control where you're putting your blush, so you're just gonna look like you have a big old red splotch all over your face. So make sure it's small enough so it can really just you can really just make it fit to the specific areas of your face. Okay, that's really the only brush you need for your face. So we're gonna talk about eye brushes, and those are really the only other brushes you need. So the one brush you need to get is an all over shadow brush, which looks like this. So it has natural bristles and it's a little bit shorter and firmer. And what this brush will do is will lay on your base shadow. So I always recommend you take a neutral shadow that doesn't have any shimmer in it and you apply it all over your face, oh, not all over your face, all over your eye. Let me grab my mirror here. So you wanna apply from your lid all the way up to under your eyebrows. And it needs to be, like I just said, a flat color, so no shimmer. I prefer something that has a little bit of a yellow base to it because I tend to get those little red veins in my eyelids and a yellow based color really does a good job of concealing that. And then the other eye brush you need is a crease brush because you take a little bit of a darker shade and you just pop it right into your eye bone here and you just go back and forth like a little windshield wiper and that is how you apply crease color. The other eye brush that you need is a blending brush which I love this one from MAC and I will link everything below this video as well as put on my blog the sheet of brushes but what you want to do with this blending brush is you keep it clean so you don't dip it in any shadow 
and you just use this to blend. So you know sometimes if it gets a little splotchy or a little dark, you can take this brush and just start kind of buffing and blending all over to give it a really nice seamless look. The next brush you need is an eyeliner brush. I prefer applying eyeliner with a brush and a powder for several reasons and again that's a whole nother video but to suffice it to say it is more precise and it will last longer and it looks more natural. I mean have you tried putting eyeliner on with a pencil and you're trying to like smudge it in there and it's not easy to do. So I like what I like to call a flat eyeliner brush. It's very thin, it's flat at the top, it's firm and so what you will do is just wiggle your, your powder in your lash line with this with this brush and it leaves a nice fine line so really your lashes will just look thicker and it is not obvious that you're wearing eyeliner. I recommend a concealer brush. I mean certainly there are times where I apply it with just my fingers but a good concealer brush is key. Um, you can really feather it nicely under the eyes and it's also good for applying foundation if you're so inclined. I tend to use my fingers for foundation or a beauty blender. But a good concealer brush is also good for applying cream eyeshadows. So that's another really important um, essential brush to have. And last but not least, an angled brush like this one for your eyebrows. Um, I like to use powder for eyebrows. Most recently I started using an eyebrow pencil from IT Cosmetics, which I talk about on my blog and in some other videos, but it's basically powder and pencil form. Um, but powders tend to be a little bit easier to use and look more natural, so I recommend a brow powder with an angled brush so you can really, and this is a very fine angled brush, and what you can do with this is it really mimics brow hairs. So you just want to get in and really sort of with short little strokes, you can fill in your eyebrows and create that arch that everybody's looking for. So that's it. We have our six brushes here. Whoops, one of them just fell, my eyebrow brush. But these are, girls, these are the only brushes you need to do a full face of makeup and don't let anybody tell you any different. I hope you found this helpful and we'll see you next time.